Hello everyone. Welcome to the second module of reproduction in plants chapter. In the last module, we learned about types of asexual reproduction. In this module, we will be learning about vegetative propagation in detail. Now, vegetative propagation is of two types. Natural vegetative propagation and artificial vegetative propagation. Now, in natural vegetative propagation, it is of three types. By stem, by root and by leaves. Whereas, artificial vegetative propagation is of four types. Cutting, layering, grafting and tissue culture. Now, let us learn about each one of them in detail. First, let us know about natural vegetative propagation. The first type of natural vegetative propagation is by stem. Now, the first type of stem which we are learning about is rhizome. Rhizome and good example is ginger. Now, in ginger, in ginger has nodes and internodes in it. There are nodes and internodes in a ginger. Now, the nodes and internodes carry thin scaly, scaly leaves. As you can see here, thin brown scaly leaves are there on this. And axillary bud go, grows out from the nodes to give rise to a new plant. Like these. Now, as you can see, there are axillary buds over here due from which these plants had grown but now they have dried up so they are brown in color or else they are green in color. I hope you must have understood it. You have a diagram on the screen also you. Now let us go to the next type of uh, type of my stem which is potato. Now let us learn about the next type of by stem reproduction is potato. Potato is actually a stem and this stem type is a tuber. Now, in this potato, you can see there are, these are the uh, roots of the potato. Though many people think that these are the eyes of the potato, but these are the roots of the potato. And this, where you can see, can you see this? I think you can see this on the screen. This is then this is an eye. An eye is a structure in which it's it looks like a crescent moon, and on that crescent moon, there you can see something. This is an eye of a potato. Okay, and these eyes are actually the nodes of the potatoes. From these, a new plant grows. Now, as you can see on this screen here. Now let us go to the next type of by stem reproduction which is a bulb. Now a very good example of bulb is onion. As you can see in this onion, these are the roots of the onion. These are the roots of the, these are the roots of the onion. Okay, I have cut this onion into half and I am showing you because I also have to show you the inner substances. This is the, these are the roots of the onion. Now, you can see the onion structure from, uh, uh, from the middle now. Now, uh, I hope you can see this on the screen. This, there is a, a, a bud over here. Okay. This is the bud of the onion. Now, this onion is not that big. So, it uh, does not have the smaller buds into it. But you can see it on the screen later when I show it. Now these are, this is the axillary main bud. From this, a plant grows from here. Okay, like this the plant grows as you can see on the screen right now. I hope now you have a give reason over here. Why potato, ginger and onion are called as the modified stems? It is so because they are capable of reproduction. And they also do an additional function of storing food. Now, let us go to the next part. The next part is reproduction by leaves. A very good example over here is bryophyllum as you can see on the screen. Now, what happens is that the leaf produces uh, adventitious buds in the margins called as the notches. The adventitious buds grow into a new plant under favorable conditions. And the leaf with the bud falls off from the 
parent plant and gives rise to a new plant as you can see on the screen now let us go to the next part which is reproduction by roots now in roots the first example we are going to take is a carrot now in carrot uh, in carrot is a root and root are small and fleshy and store large quantity of food each root is capable of giving rise to a new plant and roots grow vegetatively and store food buds produced at the base of the old stem above the root give rise to a new plant now we uh, as we can see on the screen right here uh, if you cut the tip of the carrot and if you put it in a soil give it water then after certain days you will see that a carrot is grown uh, why why does it happen because the tip has the aug tip is the auxiliary bud of the carrot and it grows hence forth giving rise to a new plant now let us learn about reproduction in grass long grass has long internodes between the successive nodes of uh, nodes creeping on the surface of the soil each node give rise to a new root now axillary bud uh, at the node produces a new shoot as you can see on the screen with this we complete natural vegetative propagation today in the next module we will be learning about artificial vegetative propagation thank you